boys i'ma be real i'ma be honest with you this event is complete trash bro it's 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 really bad i don't i don't know it's 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 horrendously bad um i was a little hesitant to talk about it on my previous video where i i i reviewed the ban list for the event but i had a lot of concerns in that video if you guys watch that old video if you haven't you can go back and watch it um where I, I was like, I, I think this is going to be the worst one that is going to come out. I think there's a lot of issues um, that just flat out the other modes didn't have and this one will have. And unfortunately, it looks like I was I was correct. I didn't want to be correct in this regard, but here we are. The Synchro Festival event is basically just a whole bunch of goddamn true Draco spam. Uh, or a bunch of hand trap spam or a very expensive synchro deck that comes out of nowhere and just combos you into infinity and it's just no one's having fun everyone's complaining let's get into it what's what's the major problem let's let's start off with the with the non-synchro decks in the synchro event so the ban list one thing i kind of pointed out in the other ban list video was that true draco was not effectively banned true draco is just basically a mini eldritch floodgate style deck they, they did not hit enough floodgates uh, for this event Therefore, people were able to make heavy floodgate decks. On top of that, this is the most expensive event. Now, now keep keep up with me when we uh, talk about this. When the other two events, obviously the normal rare event is super super inexpensive because it's normal and rares. You, that's that's just not an expensive. You know, you can build however many decks you want, and it is a load of fun. It does not matter. The exceed event. A, we had burn. A lot of people just played burn, so people who were there for gems just played that shit. And we haven't been able to use burn decks ever since they essentially nerfed them, right? Um, but uh, more importantly, when you, you do the Exceed event, you use your materials, you make one card of your Exceed monster, and that's usually it, right? Outside of like, you know, True Draco uh, or some, or not True Draco, sorry, uh, Draco uh, Utopia Future or anything like that, that would let you get additional. Uh, monsters out of your extra deck there isn't really that many like combo combo things you're doing with your extra deck when it comes to synchros a lot of synchro decks a lot of baked in synchro mechanics involve using the monster you just synchro summoned to synchro summon again right especially when you start talking about tuner synchros and you know all these things so kind of by default it just kind of became a thing where 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 this just became the most expensive because you have to get basically a whole ass extra deck that you're probably going to turbo out in one to two turns anyway so it's like all these combo pieces that you need in that extra deck which just kind of made the price to enter with a lot of these decks go extraordinarily high uh, which makes a lot of people just want to play the loner deck or the true Draco because true Draco can be built with zero URs and if and, and the whole thing with these events unfortunately a lot of people aren't playing them for the fun aspect Konami has put themselves uh, kind of in a situation where you have to play them um, with with gym economy in mind uh, and when you take that into consideration it's much better if to just play a zero ur deck or a, a, a ur um, a true draco deck with a bunch of uh, floodgates you have for, from your main account and just farm up your jimmies instead of spending it on these super expensive synchro monsters that you're only going to use for this event and then that's it there's after that there's no more you're not going to use those synchro monsters ever again they're not as powerful as meta synchro monsters so there's just no reason uh, to play them on top of that they didn't ban like any hand trap <laughs> so so when it comes to hand traps they just fucking they just sit there and um and they just uh uh you know nibiru whoever opens up nibiru wins whoever opens up whatever hand trap wins the game and the loner decks there's like one loner deck that has you know hand traps and besides that you know you're just gonna get destroyed by by uh people spamming hand traps they also didn't fix <laughs> ranked affecting your um your event ranking so the best way to play these events is still sitting in silver sitting in gold and then uh waiting until the event starts and then just farming out the event against newer players even if a lot of people do this you're still going to get matched with people who just aren't good at the game and you're just going to be able to farm them in order to 
uh, in order to fill out your your gym requirement. Um, and just overall, this, this event's just messy, man. This event is just messy. It, there's no thought that went into it. Uh, it's just using the basic rules of the previous events without, um, you know, like the, the ban list just was ineffective, right? I thought the normal rare tournament had an amazing ban list. They went hard on that shit. Um, the uh, the Exceeds event had a really good ban list, but no one really thought about burn. Burn kind of came out of nowhere and they pretty much fixed it a day later. Uh, we have not had any you know, maintenance notifications, anything to talk about, you know, this event, no apology or anything like that. Just the Synchro Festival is underway. They haven't come out and said, oh, we're so sorry. We're going to adjust the ban list. We're going to do this. We're going to do X, Y, Z. They're not doing anything. And that lack of communication is kind of old Konami seeping through and letting Master Duel kind of fall by the wayside when it comes to these events that are just kind of just, you know, landing short of the mark. Um, I don't know what they plan to do with these festivals, if these plan to be rotated events that just kind of happen like in the background once we've gone through all of them at least once. But Synchro is always going to be the worst because, because it's most expensive. I still believe my original recommendation for these events holds water and should be looked at by Konami. And if you don't know what my original recommendation was, my original recommendation was the medals that you earn. So the medals that you earn right now, they're just goalposts. They just show you how far you get into the event and how many gems you're gonna earn from said event. I think what it should look like is as you go through the event and you earn those medals, you can use those medals uh, for temporary cards within the event. Um, that way you can do something like using your loner decks that they provide. Because the loner decks aren't that bad this time around. They really aren't. You could pro if, if you stay in like gold or silver and use your loner decks, you're going to finish the event no problem. You don't have to go the true Draco path. But you should be able to use those medals, buy temporary cards just for that event, um, and use those cards. Because the problem is a lot of these cards, once the event's over, we just we just toss them away until the next time the Synchro event rolls around, the next time the XC event rolls around, we're just not going to use those cards. Again, not a problem when it's rare normal, right? Rare normal, absolutely no issues with that because those decks were all inexpensive and we have literal thousands of the crafting material. We don't know, we don't care how much we're spending on that. But the others, it does matter how much we're spending on it because if I'm spending a lot of uh, gems just to make a deck and then the gems I get from the event don't make up for those lost gems, there's no point, you know, in the gems that I just spent. So there you go. You guys let me know what you think of the Synchro event. Are you at least having fun? Because I am not. This is by far the worst one. I'm tired of getting to be rude. I am tired of running into true, true Draco, uh, back row, Konami. You got a big L with this one. Please stop taking them. I hope that you're able to fix Synchro Vent for the future, if we ever have Synchro Vent in the future. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know how it is. We need to feed the algorithm machine. 60% uh, of our viewers aren't even subscribed right now. Let's fix that. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll give you a big sloppy kiss. There you go. Till next time, boys. I love you.